Now we're going to see how we can draw circles in taxi cab geometry. Okay, the, remember that what we said about the, uh, the distance, okay? So the distance here between any two points in taxi cab geometry is defined by, uh, let's say, uh, between A and B is the absolute value of X1 minus X2 plus Y1 minus Y2. Okay, with A having coordinates x1, y1, and B having coordinates x2, y2. Okay, so we know the definition of a circle in Euclidean geometry. So a circle is the set of points that are uh, uh, on a fixed distance from a center. Okay, here, if we uh, uh, let uh, o be the origin, so the set of points that are our distance from the origin is this, this circle here, okay? And in this case, uh, we know if we, if we let O have uh, coordinate 0, 0, and we let our point M have coordinate X, Y, then the distance between O and M is x minus 0 squared plus y minus 0 squared is equal to r. And in this case, we have the square root of x squared plus y squared is r. This is the Euclidean distance. And if we square both sides, we get x squared plus y squared equals r squared. Okay? In the taxi cab metric or distance we will have the following we'll have x minus 0 plus y minus 0 is equal to some r okay let's construct the circle that has uh, 0 0 as the origin and 2 as the radius okay in this case this is my first point, okay? Because the distance here between uh, the origin and this point is 2. Next, the distance between this point here and the origin is 2. Why? Because the distance is computed this way. So I walk this, this one here and uh, this one here. Okay, this is 2. Next, this point here is 1, so I make two steps. So this is my next point. Next, I walk here, one point to the left, and one point up. So I have this point. And the next point is this one, and etc. Okay? So here I see that uh, this is this point here, and this point here, this point here. Let me make them in a different color so you can see them. So the... The, the points in this circle, uh, you see them here in green, okay? And by the end, we will have I will have something like this. So this is the circle having center zero zero and radius two. Okay, if uh, this is the circle centered at 0, 0, and having radius 2 in taxi cab geometry. Okay? If I want to have another circle of radius 1, okay? So this is, this is my point. Next, the distance between this point and this point is 1. Next, this point, and next, this point, and next, this point. Therefore, I get this one here. Okay, and uh, you see now that you have an idea. If I want to draw a circle of center 0, 0 and having radius 3, okay, so here I'm 3 units, here I'm 3 units, here I'm 3 units, here I'm 3 units, okay. So if I draw these points here, I can see that this is my circle, okay. So it's not exact, but you get the idea. 
Okay, so this is how circles look in uh, taxi cab geometry. Okay, so you compute the distance using this formula here. Okay, to get to this point, we walk here one unit just because we want to have the circle or the, the radius as two. So we walk one unit two. Okay, here I walk two units. Here I walk one unit up, one left and etc. until I reach all these points. Next, we're gonna compute the, we're gonna compute pi. We will use this example to see what's the value of pi in taxi cab distance or geometry. You can do that by yourself. What's the value of pi using this distance? Thank you very much.